This is the final race of the Noosa Waters Regatta. Um, at this stage, there is one point separating 52 and 14. They're going in for a start. Interesting to see the tactics, um, tactical positioning, uh, particularly sailing upwind. They're going in for a start and you'll see that this is the favoured side, so they should work in towards this um, shoreline here before tacking on a knock. Good start, good clean start. You've, basically the boat speed between the top three boats is consistent. 52's got the lured position and will be able to call water as he comes in. He's coming in quickly to try and get that knock. I've tacked on that knock. <clears throat> it has benefited 52 because it lifts out of this point here, and as you can see, she's lifting away to gain a significant advantage. The wind, however, will turn back the other way and you'll notice as they go further out, they will knock and that will favour the leeward forward boats, in particular 14. Uh, 52's tacked early on that knock. Fifty two is looking to get a knock coming into this side, <clears throat> which she does. However, there is a breeze line which has favoured fourteen coming across there. You can see the different shadings of those breeze lines. So further up the course, it is favouring the right-hand side of the course. So take note of that for the uh, next leg. 14's coming down on a puff, which will um, assist her catching up to 52. Remembering there is only one point separating 52 from 14. 14 needs to win this race to tie the series. All right. Going for the right hand mark so that they can sail into the shore to get that knock. 14 has maintained a reasonably tight position there on 52. And tacks early. Probably not a good situation, but they are knocking as they're going over to the right hand side. They both tack on the knock, and that is favoured 14 coming back. 52 is playing the ladder a little bit, tacking on a knock and going across to the right hand side which is favoured those lifts coming out of there <clears throat> 14 has carried a knock through and going out to the right hand side whereas 52's continues to go across <clears throat> Unfortunately, 52 sailed into a big knock. That has benefited 14, who's gone across and picked up a large lift, which has favoured her big time. At this stage, it looks like 14's ahead. Yep, 14's gained the advantage. There's a couple of boat lengths in it between at the second last rounding. So we've got one, one more rounding to go. You'll notice here that 52 sailing completely in 14's breeze. 
realizing this, um, 14's coming up, however, she's sailing into the lee of 52, and she's probably sailing a little bit too in the lee. Realizing this, 52's gone across, jibed across and carried a really nice little puff there to break the overlap. And 14 should have jibed, but um, hasn't. 52 now leads, very close sailing here. <laughs> to maintain this position, 52 will cover 14 up the close, up this last leg. You'll note that 14's a little bit ahead at this moment, but there's water, water issue coming up. And there's a very close positioning there. 52 will maintain that close cover. Sailing in her breeze, giving a dirty air and extending her lead. Fourteen and I have to break away to try and, and she does that. 52 maintains a tight cover on her. 14 continues to try and break that lead, that, that cover. But 52's clamped on a very tight cover going up to the final mark. A large boat coming through, so there's a bit of um, swell coming ahead so the boats will have to ease their sails to go off through that, maintain their speed. 52 around the top mark first with a three boat downwind length leg. lead. Final downwind leg. There is a big blow coming down the bay though, which will be interesting to see if that um, affects the results. Ooh, 52's buried its nose and loses the lead. And there goes 14 across to tie the series. Equal first for both of them in the series. Well done, 14. Great racing at Noosa Waters. For more content and information on setups for the Dragon Force boats, please subscribe to the channel. Lots of content available. Today's result was Andy and Mike in first place with Don in second place and Dean in third. See you out sailing. Bye for now.